D. Comment what you like as long as it's something nice. Those 
categories a little bit more. So basically, bills, that's kind of common sense, you know. You got to keep your lights on, your water paid. Nobody want to shower in cold water. Nobody wants to not have gas to cook their food. Not having heat, especially in this East Coast winter, is a no-go. Okay, just like not having an air conditioner. Well, I guess air conditioner doesn't really come out your bills. I don't know that yet, but anyway. You just want to make sure you have money for your bills. You don't want your phone to get cut off. You don't want your man to not be able to talk to you because your phone's off. That's embarrassing. So make sure you're paying your bills. Okay, paying your bills on time. After paying your bills, it's definitely for me once. Um, I went to this seminar, I'm going to say last year, and the person there was saying how you should always pay yourself first. And I never really understood what that meant. Like, I might actually, like go back and email her and ask her what that like what she means by that but for me personally that means that you worked hard to earn your money right so you should be able to spend your money on the things that you want the things that make you feel good the things that's nice get your nails done get your hair did get them a pair of shoes get that tell far bag baby like you should be able to spend your money on that so percentage of my overall income goes to that and then you have your savings which is also self-explanatory you need to save your money some people save their money up for bigger purchases uh what my savings is for is for emergencies because like if i get a flat tire i do not want to be sitting there in the middle of the road just you know trying to hitchhike my way home girl sit down sweetie I'm like no baby i'm gonna be able to call a tow truck come get me come come fill this with gas do something like you need to have money aside for emergencies always because look we never knew it was going to be in a pandemic and if you got laid off in your job I, f I hope not i hope you didn't but like if you do you always want to be prepared for those unexpected emergencies so make sure you have your savings stacked up okay and the investments as an entrepreneur as a creative my investments are half and half so investing in like its definition is basically you put your money into something like the stock market or um, the foreign exchange market you put your money you can put it into somebody else's business for a return of investment which is basically getting your money back and some and that always sounds good for me you know like you just wait a little bit of time and i get more money girl i can wait i quit all day we'll be here all day to make my money it's okay if i'm getting more money out of it i think it's a go <laughs> success so i split my money half and half i put half of my money into investing towards uh like i said the stock market and stuff like that and the other half of my money goes into investing into my craft investing into myself so this canon camera not cheap that adobe premiere that i edit on not cheap these lights not cheap backdrops not cheap buying wigs for creative things not cheap you know that stuff adds up and so if I want to have good content, quality content, fun, entertaining content, I need to put money towards that. So that's what I put my money towards. If you are running a business or something like that, you might want to invest in like your marketing. You might want to invest in like Shopify or like your website, basically your website host. You want to invest in those things so that it can make things run a lot more smoothly. Basically, the most effective way that I have found through my research, especially for young people like us, would be to use the cash envelope system to budget. So what that means is getting an envelope, writing down the designation you want that envelope to be for. So like mine would say wants, needs, it would, be, it would say wants, bills, savings, and investments. I'll have four envelopes. Your category should work for you too. Like make them work for you. Make it all work for you. This is how budgeting will work. I will get some money from editing someone's YouTube video, right? They will pay me to edit their video. And then I have percentages for bills on wants, investments, and savings. That's how I make it work. So I would take that however much they paid me and I would multiply them by each of those percentages and that would tell me how much money goes into my wants, my investments, my, need, my bills, and my savings. So yeah, you put them in envelopes and you use cash. So when it's time to make a purchase on your wants, say you're going shopping for your wants, you just take your little wants envelope and then whatever's in there is what you can spend and this method is the most effective because once that money runs out it's gone ain't no getting it back unless you return an item it's like you have to be it makes you become more smart about what you're purchasing whereas if you're just swiping with your debit card i don't know about you 
But like the city girl said, I'm swiping that thing to a decline. You want Panera bread? Swipe. Chipotle? Swipe. That's where all my money goes to is food. So I just be swipe, 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 swipe. I don't think about it. I should probably add food into my budget because girl, I spent a lot of money on that. My third tip would be to make a list for everything. So when I say make a list for everything, I literally mean everything. Like you need to make a list of everything that you need in your house or need to survive. On my list for things I need to survive, I just moved back from California to the East Coast. And girl, I don't have no winter clothes. I was not expecting to come back here. Okay, I don't like winter. I despise winter. And so, I need to prepare for winter. It's already getting cold and I'm not ready. Okay, I have crop tops. All my shirts is crop tops. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? I have open toe shoes, thin ankle socks. Like, this is not, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so, um, that would be like on my list of needs, especially all the clothing items I need for the winter time. Things I need to produce more YouTube channels. Like, if my tripod breaks, that's gonna be a need. Like, I'm gonna need another one. So, that would be on my needs list. And then you have the list of your wants, which is basically the things that you want. So, making these lists. Um, listing everything that you need, like everything for that category, listing everything that you want. You want this specific bag, I want this specific wig, I want this specific dye, I want this specific shirt. Like, you have to actually write that out and write down how much it costs next to it on that list. And what this does, it helps you not to overspend because I know we all have those days where we're just not feeling our best and you don't feel like doing anything. Like, I don't feel like doing my work. I don't feel like studying right now. I don't feel like blah, blah, blah. Like, you're just in a bad mood, right? And I don't know about you guys, but for me, what I tend to do to help get me out of that mood is to shop. Retail therapy, we all know what that is. So. A way to help me not overspend when I'm doing retail therapy is to basically buy things off of my list. So I might buy something off my wants, I might buy something off my needs, I might buy something off my investments because it gives you that same effect as retail therapy when you're shopping and all those Amazon packages come in and you open it and you know you feel like it's your birthday girl because you got all these packages open and all this new stuff to look at. Like you still get that feeling but you're still getting stuff that you need. You know you're not getting like miscellaneous stuff where you come at the end of the month you like girl I spent all this money but where did it go? So that's why it's important to make lists so that when you feel in those types of moves like you can just buy things off your list. And you'll still be good at the end of the month with your budget. <sighs> We're almost done here, guys. Two more tips. So tip number four is to DIY things, to go thrift shopping, and to buy things pre-owned. So doing this is clearly saving you money because so like if you want to like make your room environment a lot better, uh, you just want you just need a change like in your environment, and you just need this space to look different. DIY something like. DIY a new wall like don't paint your wall but like maybe you get some fabric and you make your own wallpaper or something like that like put some pictures of you and your friends on your walls DIY uh your your nightstand so that they're a different color so they match your new duvet or your new comfort or whatever like DIY that stuff it saves you actually a lot of money than um like just going out and buying all new things then when it comes to thrifting and buying pre-owned well, it's obvious. Like, you're paying less money for the things that you want. Um, I like to purchase my jeans from the thrift store because, baby, who's paying $50 for jeans? Who's paying $45 for jeans? Not I, said the fly. So I go right to the thrift store and I buy me new pairs of jeans when I need some new jeans. And, girl, I got the same fashion over jeans as you. I got the same. Well, nobody really wears true religion jeans no more, but the same true religion jeans as you. If I go somewhere where some celebrities live, girl, I'm I'm wearing the same Mary jeans as you, Okay. So make sure you thrift and when it comes to pre-owned things like you don't want to buy things like your essentials like bras and panties you don't have to buy like thrift that or buy that pre-owned that's kind of weird and unsanitary but what you can do is um, if you've been eyeing a certain item on Fashion Nova a lot of those Fashion Nova influencers or Instagram influencers social media influencers buy those things wear them once for the pictures and then they sell them because they're not trying to wear that again you know so if you have your eye on a specific item that you see on your favorite social media influencer girl check to see if they have a poshmark a depop and mo more than likely they will sell that stuff after they do a haul my last tip 
Tip number five. Tip number five will basically be to share large purchases with your friends. And what I mean by that, let's do this as an example. There's two ways you can do this. So example one, you and you are a video editor, right? Final Cut Pro costs $400 one time. Now, I don't know how Final Cut Pro works or if you can do this, but this is just an example, hypothetically. So hypothetically, you have three other friends who also like to do video editing. One does a video, uh, YouTube channel, another one likes to make movies, uh, whatever, whatever, the other two like to do whatever. Now, $400 is a lot for one person, but maybe you and those three peers can split the cost evenly. So you each have to pay $100 and you all can buy and use the Final Cut Pro. Like, wow, look at that, that's easy. Or the second way this could work is you and your friends could do things like this. So you have two other friends. Yeah, we have that. Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Hulu. And it's you and your two other friends. So basically, somebody can pay for Netflix, somebody can pay for Hulu, somebody can pay for Amazon Prime, and then y'all all use each other's account. Hey, looky, looky here. Then we all benefited from something. Or like Apple Music or Spotify Premium. Get a family plan. Things like that. You guys can either split the cost evenly or you guys can just, if you guys are more lax about it, you know, somebody pays for Netflix, somebody pays for Hulu, somebody pays for Apple Music or Spotify, and I'm boom. Saving on a budget, spending on a budget. And we all still live the luxurious lives that we know and love. Those are my five tips, you guys. If there are any tips that you think you might take away, make sure you comment that tip below or comment which tip you like, which tip was your favorite, which tip you've never heard of before. Oh yeah, and these are only five tips, but I definitely have more tips on my list right here. So if you guys want a part two, like if these tips work for you and you want a part two, then comment that, comment that down below and I can do that for you. Make sure you guys are liking this video. Make sure you guys are sharing the video with your friends. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore life of these there on the of both handles. So yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well where I post when I'm posting. Uh, I usually post like the day before. I show you guys what I'm posting, what the topic is, whatever. Make sure you guys see these two pictures because I am going to post with the graphic bag. My graphic bag, not, not the one I'm about to give to y'all. My graphic bag. The one that y'all about to get is going to be in a dust bag. But my graphic bag, I'm going to rock my graphic bag. You can say it. Because it's back to school. It's cute. So, for, in order for the giveaway to end, I do need to have 500 subscribers on my channel. 500 people do not need to enter the giveaway. But I do need to have 500 subscribers. So, if you really want that bag, okay, make sure you guys are having your family members, your friends, uh, your co-workers, subscribe to my channel. You know, so that we can get up there. And once we get up there, I can close the giveaway. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.